In this season of Game of Thrones, we have seen Sansa Stark step up her game and she has taken on a more queenly type role. We have seen her left in charge of Winterfell when Jon Snow leaves to go meet Daenerys Targaryen. And we have also seen her take on a motherly type role when her siblings come back to Winterfell. But I'm here to tell you that that's all game. And in this video, I will tell you why Sansa Stark is, without a shadow of a doubt, the next Mad Queen. <laughs> What the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And since I do new Game of Thrones videos every day, you should make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell. You're notified every time I upload a new video. Yeah. Now, I know a lot of people hate Sansa Stark, and she gets a lot of grief. And a lot of people say that she doesn't have any growth to a character. But I think if you look at Sansa Stark, we can see her growing to be one thing. And that is becoming the next Cersei Lannister. And if we look at everything she has done, and that is from her way she dresses, her mannerism, and the way she talks, we can see 100% the transformation how Sansa has become Cersei Lannister. In this video, I'm going to point out a couple of things that you may have missed that point in the direction of Sansa Stark becoming the next Mad Queen, the next Cersei Lannister. First, let's look at the death of Ramsay Bolton. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, Ramsay Bolton, the death of Ramsay Bolton, how does that have anything to do with Cersei Lannister? How can we compare that to what Sansa's becoming Cersei Lannister? And that's why I'm here to explain this for you people. First, before the actual death, let's listen to the words that she says to Ramsay Bolton. Your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Now, doesn't that remind you of something? I mean, honestly, doesn't that truly remind you of something? Doesn't it remind you of a certain family's basic claim to fame? Basically, what a certain family did to another family? I think so. I remember seeing their bodies hanging high above the gates of Casterly Rock. My father let them rot up there all summer. It was a long summer. And now the rains weep o'er their halls, and not a soul to hear. So we see Sansa Stark copying the Lannisters' reigns of Castamere to House Bolton. So that is where she learned that from. And then after that, we see how she kills Ramsay Bolton. She basically feeds him to his own dogs, which is a very fitting death for a dumb motherfucker like himself. But where did she get this idea from? Did she just come up with this idea on her own? Did she just say, hey, I'm going to feed him to the dogs? Or could it be possible that she got this idea from Cersei Lannister also? Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. Your Grace, a Queen Marjorie the queen said they would be. The Queen is telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Oh, you will. So we see Sansa Stark feed somebody to the dogs, and we hear Cersei Lannister say that she's willing to feed somebody to the dogs. This is done to show you exactly that Sansa Stark is becoming. Cersei Lannister. Now, I'm going to go from that and go to mannerisms. Now, listen to the cadence that Cersei Lannister uses when she dismisses Maester Pycelles. Listen to the cadence and the way she says it. You must have a lot of work to do. I'm sure many brave men will need your wisdom soon. Yes, sir. Uh... A uh, siege is very... Be careful on the stairs, Grandmeister. There are so many. Now, I want you to listen to the cadence of Sansa Stark when she dismisses Brienne. My lady, I swore an oath to protect you and your sister if I abandoned The trip you. to King's Landing is long, Lady Brienne, and you won't be traveling on summer roads. The sooner you leave, the better your chances of making it on time. If you ask me, that is 100% the same dismissal. 
So we see that Sansa is acting just like Cersei. And we look at their lives that just about parallel. Cersei wanted to marry a prince. Sansa wanted to marry a prince. But Cersei then married the king. And I think that's what's going to happen to Sansa. She will marry a king. But does that mean that all the other prophecies that go for Cersei will also work for Sansa? Well, I will talk about all those things and more in part two. So, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace, and stay sexy.